before getting the flat tire I was aiming to drive out to Castle Point for and stay two nights but with the flat tire I ended up staying in Masterton uh, while they ordered in the spare so I've done a day trip out to it I'd been recommended Castle Point by a information centre woman as well apparently one of the top I don't know one of the top beaches I think <laughs> and it's worth having a look. It's very dramatic. Snow on the mountains nearby and it's nice and warm. The heater definitely runs better on electric than on gas. It's, it's just a really good temperature. I've just got a thin fleece on and yeah I'm all fine, I'm warm. So I wasn't sure if I was going to stay here for two nights and then do my contract job online tomorrow or move. But this weather is really encouraging me just to stay put. I like this campground anyway, so I, yeah, decision made. I'm staying. Once in a while I'll come across a campground where you just need a ring. Office is closed. So having a phone is handy. They are very trusting. They just said find a site and come back tomorrow at 9am to pay. <laughs> What I like is the view from this window. I feel like my caravan's on a slight angle. <laughs> I think I lined it up this way, but I could have pointed it at a slightly different angle. So when I work tomorrow, it's going to be a pretty good view. Unless someone ends up pulling up there on that grassy bit. I'm going to relax for a bit, have some lunch, and then go for an explore. Well, I got to the end of the road and there's a lighthouse <laughs> and there are some steps leading to the top so I'm gonna walk up them. Okay. Just a few steps, <laughs> nothing to it. <laughs> You need some proper machinery to get your boat into the ocean. Every single boat has one of these, I actually forgot the name of them, bulldozer? I don't know, something that moves the gravel obviously. Must, uh, the beach must change all the time. A very, very novel golf course. The hole is surrounded by an electric fence and there's sheep everywhere. Passages or anything, so we got a lot of time to train them on that. It's actually a surprisingly cool night tonight. So I've got the heater on electric, and it has, <laughs> I had it on the lower setting, and it didn't actually heat up the whole area. My feet were still cold. It's nice right in front of it, so I've just turned it up to the medium setting and hopefully that'll heat the whole area. Actually, I wonder if I've got this vent. <laughs> this is still open. 
all the hot air was probably escaping from the vent. I hadn't realised the fridge was on its maximum coolness and everything's frozen. <laughs> fridge doors us rock solid. You can see, can you see the ice? And it's just, it's very easy to accidentally lean on this fridge and set it to maximum. What a windy day. I woke up at 3am to the whole caravan shaking from the wind. It's definitely a novel feeling. Um, it's trying to sleep when your bed's shaking. <laughs> the caravan owner popped by this morning to warn me that there was a high wind warnings in the area. I've just been quietly working this morning but yeah going to head off this afternoon and do a walk which is hopefully in a sheltered area. So my lovely neighbours from the campground, they were in two other caravans, they did this walk yesterday and their tips for me were to wear long pants because there's a lot of gorse and to wear waterproof shoes because you're crossing a small river again and again. I don't know what it'll be like in the middle of winter but the river's small, I can step over it with one step. But the shoes have come in handy already, I've only just started this walk. I am not fit, I'm a little bit sweaty. <sighs> that last part of the walk straight up a gravelly road, uh, path. It's very odd here, very unusual. I'll try to capture it, but I suspect it's going to be hard. It looks like that's about to fall off. Big crack down the side. I'm probably, some of these cliffs are like right above me. Funny thing is, there's a sign saying keep to the track, but there's, there's no obvious track. I packed up the caravan this morning and I was planning to just stop by this park and work for a few hours before carrying on, but it's so windy. The whole caravan's shaking. <laughs> 